Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Sandra and in today's video I'm going to review Royal Talents Extra Fine Quality Gouache. Royal Talents is my favorite brand of gouache simply because I've been using this brand since I first started using gouache about 9 years ago and I never thought of changing brand because it works perfectly for me and most colors from Royal Talents suits the color palette I like using for my illustrations. By doing this review I'm going to share my personal experience working with the extra fine quality gouache from Royal Talents. Royal Talents is originally from Netherlands, is good quality paint with high pigment load suitable for artists, designers and illustrators. The price can vary depending on where you live, but generally Royal Talents is known as an affordable brand with good quality paint. Of course, it's not perfect and it might not be the best brand between all gouache brands. I believe every brand has pros and cons. Royal Talents come with 20 ml per tubes. All tubes cost the same and they are easy to squeeze the paint out of the tube. Regarding the paint consistency, it's great and it's very enjoyable to mix and to work with. However, I have few complaints regarding their tube quality. To my personal experience, maybe this happens only to me, the tubes can easily get damaged that when I use a color tube many times, or I'm about to consume the wall tube, the tube loses its shape pretty badly and this issue led me to get like little holes in the tube. Maybe I'm too harsh and it's not a big deal, I can always use tape to place around the tube to close the holes. As long as you handle the tubes with care, you won't have these problems. But I wish Royal Talents would improve their tube quality and make them stronger so that they wouldn't lose their shape so easily. I don't own all colors, but at the moment I have 29 on 60 colors available from Royal Talents, which 3 of them are metallic colors. The metallic colors, but also few colors like black, yellow and magenta, I believe I have them since I first bought them about 9 years ago. They may have become more dense, but the pigment itself wasn't affected in any way when you dilute the paint with water. I noticed that some colors are more liquid and some are dense and more solid. I don't know why, but for me, I like the paint to be dense so I can easily control how much paint to squeeze. But what I love the most about this brand is that the paint is very enjoyable to mix and to work with. With just few mixes with a brush, you get a nice fluid consistency. Even if the paint is quite dense, or even if it's dry and you reactivate it with water, you still get the same nice fluid consistency. But I noticed a difference of opacity between the colors I have. For example, magenta and pink are the colors I have more difficulties to get a nice flat wash and matte finish. So it can be the case that some of their colors are semi-transparent while others are fully opaque. I'm just not certain about it because I can't find this information anywhere. So I also did color swatches on a black paper to show you how covering this gouache is and that some colors are more opaque than others indeed. Some dries in a perfect matte finish while others not as much. But since the first time I used Royal Talents gouache, the tones of pink were the colors which I could never get a matte finish if I would use the paint fully opaque, but with water I don't have the same problem, although it's more transparent. Now I'm going to paint an illustrations to show you how this brand behaves on paper and this is going to be a demonstration 
based on how I work with gouache. Well, if you aren't new from my channel, you know that I like working with gouache and all the gouache videos I uploaded, I mostly use Royal Talents or either Winsor & Newton gouache. But if you are new and this might be the first video you are watching from me, so if you are interested on in seeing more example painted with this brand, you can find plenty of gouache videos on my channel. I will leave some links to my gouache videos in the description where I use this brand, so you can check them out if you'd like. And to have a better idea about Royal Talents gouache quality. So for the way I like working with gouache, I work with both thin and thick gouache, so I mostly thin my gouache with water to get more transparent washes because I like working by overlaying transparent layers of gouache in my illustrations. For this piece I started off by painting the first transparent layer of gouache after the paint has dried, I went on top, painting the thicker and more opaque layers. And Royal Talents has a good paint coverage, which allows you to overlay opaque layers too. That's why gouache is a versatile medium, because it behaves both like watercolors and acrylic, from transparent washes toward opaque washes. It's a great medium for working with several layers of paint, but until a certain limit, because since gouache is water-based medium and you can reactivate gouache with water, you can lift up the paint underneath if you add too many layers. But at the same time, gouache is a very forgiving medium. By re-wetting the paint on paper, it allows you to correct your mistake. On my channel, I made a tutorial on how to paint with gouache, so if you are new to this medium, I will leave the link to my tutorial in the description, so you can check it out to know more about this medium. For the way I work and I like my illustrations to be, I like working with fine details and fine lines, and I find gouache the most suitable medium for fine details, because it has the perfect paint consistency to get fine details. And I think that's it! Although Royal Talents might not have the best quality tube, I find that it really has good quality paint for a lower price, compared to other good quality gouache brands. And if you're wondering about cracking, I don't have much experience to share regarding this aspect, but I noticed that it has the tendency of hardening and drying quite fast, but it doesn't crack that much. Although you have to handle the tubes with care, I hope you won't think less of this brand, because the paint quality is what matters. Stay tuned because I'm going to review other gouache brands in the future on my channel. Next brand is Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache Series, which I hope you will look forward on watching my Winsor & Newton review as well. If you have any questions about gouache or about this brand, leave a comment down below and I will be happy to reply to you and to help you. Do you use or have you ever used Royal Talents gouache before? Let me know in the comment section below, I would love to know your thoughts and opinion about this brand.